Hello, I'm Laura Bennett with German with Laura, and this is my first video in a 10-part series on how to learn German smarter, not harder. In this video, we're going to talk about the three classic pitfalls that I see so many German learners fall into. I don't want you to be one of them, so hang on. We're going to talk about these big mistakes that German learners make so that you can make sure you don't make them. But before we get into those details, let's look at the series as an overall and ask the question, is this series for you? Do you need to watch these videos? Well, I have come across so many German learners who have been working with Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, Babbel. They're trying to go through a grammar workbook on their own. Maybe they're in a course, have a tutor, what have you. But the story is always the same. They get to a point of feeling stuck, of feeling like they're spinning their wheels. They're not making progress anymore. They're seeing all of these changes happening on certain words. It's not being explained. It doesn't make sense sense, the confusion and the overwhelm grow, and many students at this point give up on learning German altogether, and that's so tragic because it doesn't have to be that way. So this series has been created for you so that there is a structure to your German learning so that you can tackle the core concepts of German grammar without which you cannot speak German in a logical fashion, right? So everything's in a particular order because it builds on itself, and if you watch this whole series, you will be able to learn German efficiently, effectively learning just what matters, when it matters, how it matters, okay? And I really, really am so excited that you're here, okay? So in this first video, like I said, we're gonna talk about the biggest mistakes that German learners make, okay, so that you can avoid them. And in the second video, I'll talk then specifically, what are the solutions, what are the tips and tricks for actually leveraging the advantages that you have as an adult learner of German, okay? Then we're gonna get into the actual nitty gritty grammar talk Topics, right? So noun, gender, you're going to learn how you can avoid trying unsuccessfully to memorize a random daddy das in front of thousands of German nouns. Okay, there are shortcuts, there are tips and tricks. I'm going to share them with you. So likewise with noun plurals. It's usually taught that this is also totally random, that you just have to memorize the plural of every single noun in German. Good luck with that. But it turns out there are connections, there are categories, there's a whole system that we can use that takes the guesswork out of German plurals, okay? Then we get into a section of this series where three videos get kind of lumped together, the, uh, the case system, right? So the video on cases, then declensions, also declension patterns, these three videos right here. They're kind of my favorite. And what I'm so excited about with these videos is that you will be enabled to throw out the window the conventional 10 plus charts that students usually have to try to work with in order to master this aspect of German, German grammar. And instead, I'm going to show you one chart that will solve this problem for you so that you will be able to actually understand why those changes are happening and be able to make them yourself easily without the 10 plus charts, right? Just one chart, it's possible. All right, then after that, word order. Again, everything about this series, it's about patterns, it's about principles. You're gonna be connecting the dots on why does German use all of these funky word order things that we don't have in English. You're gonna finally get it and be able to do it yourself, right? It's one thing to understand, it's another thing to actually be able to do it yourself and we want both for you, okay? Then we're going to also talk about personal pronouns. What I love about this is how it actually kind of ties back into the case system. So you're gonna be really connecting some fun dots there and I'm excited to share that with you. And then finally, my study tips really rather circles around to our first two videos where I'm gonna give you concrete action steps that will help you avoid the classic blunders that most German learners make and instead leverage, leverage, leverage your advantages as an adult learner so that you can learn German smarter, not harder, right? That's what this series is all about. So that said, now let's dig into the specifics of these three classic pitfalls. Okay, so the three big mistakes that I see so many German learners making, especially at the beginning of their adventure of learning German, is that they try to learn the way that children learn languages. They assume that German works the same way English does, and they start 
with vocabulary. So the thing is, as a native English speaker, you probably didn't have reason or maybe opportunity to learn another language as a child. So now as an adult, you're trying to learn German and it makes all the sense in the world that your gut instinct would be to copy the same process that you used to learn English as your native language as a child. But this is a grave, grave, grave mistake that's going to cost you. It's going to cost you time and effort. And if you're like me, right, you've got work, you've got a family, you don't have a lot of time to spare. So learning German as efficiently and effectively as possible sounds mighty attractive, and that is possible, but you need to avoid these mistakes. So what does it look like to try to learn language the way that children do? So as a baby, as a child, we use what's called the instant immersion approach, which has really gained in popularity, but it has a it has a right time and place later on in your German studies, not at the beginning, not at the beginning, because when we're babies, when we're children, it takes us years to master our native language using the instant immersion approach because we're constantly experimenting. It's trial and error. We're building a linguistic framework from absolute zero. And this is really tedious, painstaking, time consuming. It's the exact opposite of efficient. Okay. And so instead, we're going to talk about in the next video how you as an adult actually have very distinct advantages in learning a foreign language and you need to leverage the living daylights out of them. Okay, so that's in the next video. But now, firstly, let's talk about the second pitfall. One of the biggest ways that German departs from English is that there are certain words in German that are going to take tiny changes on the ends, okay? And so you've maybe been coming across this and feeling understandably very confused by it. So in this sentence, we have these E's, M, N, and this N are examples of these tiny changes. It's called the clensions, and we're going to talk more about this in an upcoming video in this series. But suffice it to say for now that you cannot speak German if you're not able to make these slight changes yourself to the ends of these various words. It's not going to work. Okay, so this is not a one for one vocabulary swap of just learning the words, the nice and woman, etc., and stringing it all together. You, yeah, you put it together, but you also have to make all of these very particular little alterations. And there's a whole system for that called the case system. It's a little complicated, but the way that I'm going to teach it to you coming up later in this series is going to be the easiest way you will hear about anywhere. So you don't want to miss out on that. But now this, the second pitfall of assuming that German works the same way that English does ties in directly to the third pitfall, which is very controversial. And that is starting with vocabulary. So since you have to make all of these tiny changes to the ends of certain words in German, that's why it's a pitfall to start learning vocabulary first. Okay, so our third pitfall, starting with vocabulary. You cannot do this because there are too many options. It's not just this one for one vocabulary swap. You don't just learn the word for the and the word for hungry and the word for bone and everything else in this sentence. It changes, okay? So for one example, just one example to prove this point, the word D, right? translates to the, okay, but it is one of six words that translate to the, right? So this doesn't even make sense to our English brains, right? But we have die, der, das, den, dem, des. All of these words mean the, and you have to know when to use which one, right? So vocabulary, one side of the coin, but grammar is the other side of the coin. It's the glue that holds the vocabulary together, right? And if you start learning vocabulary before you're working on the grammar first, you're only going to make it so far before you are forced to stop, all right? So in this video, we've talked about how not to be learning German. In the next video, we wanna talk about the things you should be doing in order to learn German in the best ways possible. 
possible, okay? If you're not learning like a kid and you're not assuming that German's the same as English and you're not starting with vocabulary, what do you need to do instead? The next video is all about how you can leverage being an adult learner of German and make some very particular smart choices that will help you learn German smarter, not harder. So before you click off to the side to watch that next video, please click down below on the subscribe button so that you know when I come out with new information on this channel. Okay, you've done that? Wonderful. Now, I'll see you in that next video.